We've been using Porotherm for two years now. 100% recommend it going forward. Wouldn't ever want to go back to concrete blocks if we could help it. It's really important that anyone looks at Porotherm from a holistic approach. So you've got a material which, okay, is a little bit more expensive than traditional, but then from a bricklaying point of view, you're laying it quicker, so there should be a labour saving. You've got a safer site, you've got a cleaner site. Uh, the eco parge goes on very, very fast. It's a completely unskilled operation that we do with the yard brush using either one of the bricklayers' labourers or one of our labourers. This is the 100mm uh, polytherm block, 500 millimetres long, uh, equivalent to 10 newton concrete block. Less blocks per square metre, so less manual handling. My God, I wish I'd had these 20 years ago. Benefits of using polytherm is the efficiency and speed that you can do it at. You know, to get something built quicker, enables you to turn around quicker, better cash flow, you're moving on faster, better for the company. I would say, on average, we could probably take 20% um, off, off, off a plate date. Well, we could achieve it 20% quicker on the average development. Looking at the Porotherm product, it can work for both apartments and houses, but I think it really comes into its own in houses. Previously, when there was a brick shortage, we couldn't get hold of our facing bricks. We managed to put our building up, put our roof on, continue with first fix, even into second fix before the brickwork was completed. During the superstructure phase of a, of a build, we were able to reduce the number of weeks we needed a crane for. We reduced uh, the, the number of weeks relied, we relied on scaffolds. The whole program period was reduced. We hit a very good critical path where we were able to get weather tight early, which meant we could start plastering early, which consequently we finished the job eight, maybe nine weeks out of a 60 week program and delivered the building well under 50 weeks. And, and that makes a huge difference to us on premiums. It takes away the problems we used to have where if you had when wet concrete blocks delivered to site or You'd have, you'd have to give them a 24 or 36 hour curing time before you could lay your floors. Being able to land the concrete planks on the polythorn walls the next day is a, is a big bonus. Um, takes the pressure off the builder and in turn us in the fact that if there are any delays for any reasons and you do happen to be topping a wall out the day before you've got to land the, the floors, it's not a problem because you know that the, with the thin joint system that the walls can take it. I'd have no hesitation recommending Porotherm for, a, for an apartment block. I think the larger your footprint, the better. Offices, budget hotels, yeah, anything with any sort of repeat student accommodation, I'd find it very difficult to not want to use Porotherm. You always have scepticism about things, but I think as we delved deeper and deeper into the product, um, sorting out how things would be built, how they would be done, how we'd work with other products, over the few years that we've been using it, we've greatly perfected those ideas and it's become a stay of what we do. It's a very efficient way of building and um, we wouldn't use anything else, to be honest. All round, for us, uh, we found that Porotherm is a far better product to work with. Cleaner and safer product by far. Uh, we're not using wet blocks anymore, which ultimately is costing us and the builder a lot of time uh, and a lot of money. I think the builder is just starting to see uh, and will see that the, the biggest advantage of all with the Porotherm is they're going to be delivering a dry product to the customer. They won't be suffering multiple aftercare issues, again, costing them time and money. Um, I think everybody knows, needs to start looking at the big picture because um, Porotherm definitely has a big future in the UK construction industry.